Hey guys, Stalvin back, playing some Pauper Mono White Token. So we won the dice roll, get to go first. Opening hand has one land. Oh man, if we just had one more planes, this would be pretty good. But we're going to have to mulligan this. Oh, this isn't much better. We're going to keep it though. It's got two lands. The, it sucks that we have two Squadron Hawks. That we're definitely putting to the bottom. Don't need a third Squadron Hawk. Our opponent went down to six and put a card to the bottom. We're going to go ahead and play a planes, pass the turn. Oh, I'm sorry, my opponent put the card to the top. Not that that probably doesn't matter, but... Alright, he plays a swamp, passes a turn. <clears throat> so, what are the odds that he's on mono black control? Maybe I should just play Scotchron Hawk here. Actually, I... Yeah, I'm just going to play Scaldron Hawk because I don't want to draw the other two. I know I won't draw that one I put in the bottom, but I don't want to draw that last one too. And plus he may have removal, and I don't want to run my Suture Priest right into removal. Okay. And pass the turn. <clears throat> Another swamp for the opponent. Kumbaj Witches. That's actually uh, pretty good against me. I need my Luma Thread Field. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> Kumbaj Witches is really good. We'll go ahead and attack here. Uh, I could play Raise the Alarm at the end of his turn. Hmm. No, I think I'm just going to go for the Flyers here. I really need my Luma Thread Field. Or, um, the Veteran Armorer. Alright, so he's pinging my Squadron Hawk here. I guess I will ping him. Actually, I don't want to auto yield to the um, Goombalge, which is because I do have like Remosian Rally and um, Guardian's Pledge, stuff like that. All right, back over to us. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we did not get our creature that, uh, our veteran armor. Let's go ahead and attack in for one. And I think I'm just gonna play another Squadron Hawk. I kinda wanna slow roll this. <clears throat> Game two is gonna be a lot easier for us because we got, um, more tech to stop the Kumbaj witches and the Shrivel. Opponent plays a Phyrexian Rager. Draws a card, goes to 16. Doesn't attack. Alright, back over to us. Journey to Nowhere is a really good draw. <clears throat> we can use it against the Kumbaj witches. Let's go ahead and attack here. Maybe I'll get a damage in and he won't ping me. Nah, yeah, he did. Um, yeah, I guess I'll just ping him then. Because he would have killed one of my birds in response to a journey anyway. I was hoping that maybe he'd let this go through and maybe ping whatever we played. Let's go ahead and play the journey. Get rid of these witches. I'm kind of happy i just been playing the birds this whole time because I have all this fuel, the priest and all the raise the alarms for some life gain. 
Cheatering rats. All right. That's unfortunate, though. I do want to be drawing some land. Well, I suppose I'll just play Suture Priest here. Let's attack first. He may have a disfigure or something, and if he does, I'd rather him use it on my Squadron Hawk than my Suture Priest. But he doesn't use any kind of removal. He probably will on the Suture Priest, though. Suture Priest can be quite a headache. Yep, there's the disfigure we were talking about. So we need to play a bunch of creatures before he gets another Witches. Um, I really need some land. Another Rats. That sucks. That really sucks, actually. Alright, let's get in for one. I'm going to use Raise the Alarm at the end of turn. Another rats. Wow. That's crazy that he has so many rats. Well, I have to block or I die. Uh, do I want to start double blocking? I kind of feel like I do. If I play raise the alarm... I can double block one rat, double block another rat. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm not going to attack. I'm just going to pass the turn. I'm going to do some blocking here. I think I have a... I, I'm, going to, I'm able to generate more creatures than he has, I think. Goes to combat. All right, so let's bring in Raise the Alarm. Go to blocks. We're going to double block the Rager. One of the rats. And I think I'm gonna take four here. Hopefully we can kill these those things and he doesn't use a removal spell. That's going to suck. And he did. I could have triple block one, but then he just would have saved the other one. So that's not really going to amount to anything. Um, we haven't been drawing very well. And especially with three rats, that makes it even more worse. And the Kumbhas, which is there. There's pretty well no way we can get out of this. We're going to go ahead and concede here. The lack of land also really sucked. Uh, we are favored in this match, and I think especially here after sideboarding, we're going to be a lot better off. Let's bring in the Veteran Armorer and the Luma Thread Fields. Um, Goombaj Wishes is a big problem, so we need to do make that better. Uh, the toughness really helps. Let's take out the triplicate spirits because he plays so many removals that it's it's kind of hit or miss with those. Um, I kind of want holy light because this makes his creatures one ones and then allows me to uh, block very effectively. Uh, what do I want to take out though? Javelineers are pretty good because I can actually block and uh, do one, so I can trade with a two two. Could take out Suture Priest for like one holy holy light maybe, or actually let's take out one Guardian's Pledge for a holy light. That'll keep my mana curve pretty good. We'll run it back like that. Like I said, we just didn't draw very well that game. I think we're going to do a lot better here, especially if our opening hand is a bit better. We'll go first. Opening hand is decent. We'll keep it. 
Could be a lot better, actually, but it's not terrible. Opponent goes down to six. Keeps his hand. Puts a card at the bottom. That's good news. We're going to go ahead and play our Javelin Ears here. Pass the turn. So we got turn one Javelin Ears, turn two Priest. Uh, hopefully turn four Battle Screech. Opponent goes with a Baron Moor tapped. There's another Suchu Priest. Let's go ahead and attack here. And we'll play a priest. Pass the turn. See what our opponent's got going on. Another Baron more tapped. That's good news for us. Planes. That's actually good to see there. Let's go ahead and attack. I like seeing Ramosian Rally because he probably is using Shrivel. We'll play the Sutra Priest. Pass the turn. Always yield to the life gain here. Always yes, always yield. Alright. Pass the turn. And we have Shrivel Protection. Uh, Chittering Rats. Alright. He's going to take two here. Always yes, always yield. I really love Suchu Priest. It's I think that card's amazing. Let's put Battle Screech to the top. Okay, we'll play the planes. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna use Battle Screech here and flash it back. I'm not going to attack, I don't think. I could use Hermosian Rally to trade with the rat, but I don't think I want to go with that plan. I think I'm just going to play Battle Screech, make some birds, gain a bunch of life. Alright, now let's go ahead and flash it back. Uh, we'll tap a Suchu Priest here, a Suchu Priest, because I'm not going to be blocking with them. The Javelineers I probably will block with uh, if he attacks. I will probably um, block and ping. So, and, and then we also have our Mosin Rally up for Shrivel protection. We'll go ahead and pass the turn here. We're going to be able to attack in the air with our Eagles, hopefully, anyway. Um, he plays a Friction Rager. Evan Carr's Justice would be would be really detrimental to us. Takes the damage off the Priest. Goes down to 13. I kind of hope he attacks with this rat. Nope. Alright. Back over to us. Gather the townsfolk. That's good with my suture priests. Um, if I attack and use Hermosian Rally, how much damage would I do? If he blocks two, he'd take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So... Yeah, not quite enough, is it? I would wipe his board. I would. Uh, he would. Yeah, both of his creatures would die. No, I think it's still too early for that. Let's use gather the townsfolk now while my suture priests are alive. All right, and gain a bunch of life. And we'll go ahead and attack here with just the eagles. Just the Eagles, get in for four. We have Ramosian Rally up, ready for Shrivel. Hopefully I don't have to reveal that I, I have that in my deck. He's at eight. 
Another Friction Rager, okay. Takes one off the priest. Two two off the priest, actually. Draws a card, takes another life. He's down to five. And scoops it up. Alright, on to game three. I kind of like my board state. Um, Obsidian Acolyte is pretty good. Protection from black. It's not bad, is it? Maybe I should bring it in. Hmm. I don't know if I can squeeze it in, though. Maybe for a Javelin Ears? Bring in, bring in one. Ah, uh, let's bring in, let's bring in another one. Obsidian Acolyte's pretty good against, uh, against black. Our opponent gets to go first, so he definitely has the advantage here. We we're looking for a decent opening hand, and this is a decent opening hand. It's not bad. It's got lands. It's got spells. It's got my Obsidian Alkalite. We'll keep this hand. Opponent plays a Swamp, passes a turn, planes, and passes a turn as well. So what are we going to use our turn two on? Probably not... Acolyte, only because he has Edict effects, most likely. Uh, Kumbal Witches. Okay, so our turn two is going to be Journey to Nowhere. It is decided. Planes, Journey, get those witches out of here. Though I have to say, I love the new art. The new art for these witches is amazing. Alright, and we'll go ahead and pass the turn here. See what our opponent has on his turn three. Probably a Chittering Rats. Oh, Friction Rager, all right. All right, we drew a Quicksand. That's pretty good, actually. Uh, so I don't have a three mana spell. I think I'm just gonna play, um, probably raise the alarm at his end step and hold up Quicksand. Seems fine. And then next turn, I'll play probably Battle Screech. Plays a Swamp and attacks in for two. Uh, am I going to Quicksand here? I really want to catch Battle Screech next turn. I probably should quicksand, but no, I'm not going to. Um, I want to cast Battle Screech. He uses Sign and Blood. And passes a turn with two mana up. I, I, I sense a removal spell here. Alright, we'll pl may, um, play, raise the alarm, play planes. Um... Let's go ahead and try to use Battle Screech. And we'll try to flash it back here. Alright, and attack for one. And pass the turn. All right, so now we're ready for Obsidian Alkalite. Next turn, I'm gonna have five mana, so I'll probably just do Alkalite and, ooh, Chittering Rats, all right. Let's see how he attacks. He attacks with just the Rager uh, because the rats have summoning sickness. Do I wanna block here? Probably not. No, I want to save my flyers to to uh, hit him for four each turn if I can. All right, back over to us. Play planes. Um, I think I want to play alkalite here before combat. Yeah, let's play alkalite. So, do I just want to hold up planes for protection? 
maybe just play uh, Gather the Townsfolk. No, you know what? I don't want to overextend because I don't have um, I don't have protection from shovel, so I don't want to overextend any more than I already have. So should we just attack for four? Yeah, just four. I'm going to hold up two planes for protection and quicksand probably. If he attacks us both, I'll quicksand one and kill the other with protection damage. Or damage with protection. Hopefully he doesn't have a shrivel. That's going to make me super, super sad. Alright, and he scoops it up. Let's see what we would have gotten here. Veteran armor, that would have been our shrivel protection. Nice. Yeah, I think we did pretty good here. Um, thanks for watching, guys. If you like the deck, give it a thumbs up. Uh, let me know if you want to see more. Thanks, and have a great day.